There is this notion in ancestors to go from a prey <laughs> to a predator. It's not about going through missions in an order that we picked for you. It's really up to the player to write his own uh, uh, history of our, you know, odyssey on this planet. I want you to get lost in the universe we've created for you. And I want you to be that character, not a gamer. The core mechanics on how you evolve is that first you need to experience by yourself as a player one ability that is already there. Once you've gained that, you go into your neuronal development menu and you can open up and build up your uh, ability and skills tree. Because this is how your character gains skills and abilities, is through evolution. So it depends really on how you play that will open up new skills and new neurons afterwards. There's also a generation menu where you can actually go 15 years in the future. And yes, the baby will become adult, and adult will become elders. But it's also how you lock a bit forever uh, your uh, neuronal uh, system. The system of, of going through skills tree for one character, then a generation, and eventually the evolution is what we use the term RPG. It's a game inspired by science, and then we had fun with it. And there is in evolution the goal of beating science. Can you do it faster than what science is telling us? Every single experience will be different because your path to uh, the next species is, is your own. It depends on actually on what you're doing. I decided to kill the warthog. I managed to do it. I knew how. But the game didn't tell me. So right now, it is my own little story of how we became omnivorous. That's the journey of a prey to a predator. And I'm asking the players, Hey you, Homo sapiens, can you survive like your ancestors did? <laughs>